and she's trying to offer you up them sloppy seconds on a silver platter. The question is, are you going to take them? <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings, and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about sloppy seconds. Fellas, remember back in high school or even grade school, you were all sitting around at the cafeteria, the lunch cafeteria, and one of your friends was sitting around at the table and they had a like a, a cheeseburger or a sandwich and they took a couple bites of it. Maybe maybe it was like halfway eaten. And then they try to offer you some like, hey, do you want to you want the rest of my sandwich? You want to bite them? You want to bite of my my sandwich? And what did you say, fellas? Ugh, I don't want them sloppy seconds. That's nasty. I'm not eating after you. Oh, yeah, fellas, I remember those days very vividly. And I was never a fan of no goddamn sloppy seconds. I'm not eating after your nasty ass. I don't know where your mouth has been. No, I'd rather go hungry. I'd rather go hungry. I'd rather not eat until I get home. Than to eat after your nasty ass. I don't want no sloppy seconds. And fellas, it's no different when it comes to dealing with these women. If a woman turns you down, if she dumps you, if she lets you go, or if she just flat out rejects you, you try to holler, she rejects you. And then she goes and gets with one of your friends or someone else you know, or maybe someone else um, that you, you kind of know, maybe somebody else at your gym. And then that relationship that she jumped into or that situation that she jumped into, then it doesn't work out. And then guess what she tries to do, fellas? She tries to circle back around to you. And she's trying to offer you up them sloppy seconds on a silver platter. The question is, are you going to take them? The ironic thing is that I believe most guys would. Most guys are so starved for a little box that they will take and accept anything in any kind of treatment. So she just went out there and was doing Lord knows what with this guy or these other guys. Now she wants to come back to you. Fellas, under no circumstance should you be okay with sloppy seconds and taking second place to another man. That woman should be dead to you. That woman should be uh, completely off your, your radar or your zone. Because see, she chose to overlook you. She chose to, she chose to treat you like a second class citizen. She made it clear that she didn't want you that she didn't value you, that she looked at you and another guy and said, I'm going to choose him. I like him more than I like you. And yet you are still going to sit up here and give her ass any time of day. After knowingly being passed up and being shitted on, Fellas, that's weak. That's a scarcity mindset. And you got to start to develop more of an abundance mindset. Because see, for me, fellas, I'm not going to deal with anyone, with any woman who doesn't see me as the complete fucking prize. That's who I'm going to deal with. If a woman isn't head over heels for me, if she is not showing me that she is 100% about me, if I am not number one in her life, I don't want no part of it. I don't. 
and you can call that whatever you want to call it. But you know what I call it? I call it having a high level of self-esteem and self-confidence and self-respect to let this woman know that no, no, I will not be second place. No, I will not take your nasty ass sloppy seconds after you done been ran through by Tom, Dick, and Harry. And now you want to come back over here to me. Like I'm just going to be standing here, arms wide open, ready to give you hugs and kisses. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here with that. You're going to have to go find some weak beta cuck who's going to come deal with your sloppy seconds. Fellas, it is better off putting your energy into a new woman into a new situation than it is to sit here and lower, just have your self-respect just be stepped on and shitted on, knowing that this woman left you or rejected you and went off and messed with another dude. And you're just going to let her prance right back in. Never play second fiddle to anyone. If she, if she chose him over you, that's totally cool. That's her decision. And she's totally allowed to make that decision. But you need to show enough strength to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to allow you to come back. No, I'm not going to allow you to come back. Because I'm the fucking prize. And if you don't believe that to be so, baby girl, another woman will. She will. That's the mentality, fellas, that you need to be rolling around with. And if you currently don't feel like that, then, you know, you've got a lot of work to do. It's too many guys out there just having their self-esteem being shitted on on an everyday basis by these ratchet ass, no good for nothing, goofy ass women who are straight bust downs and you're just letting them toy with you. Because, fellas, this is what women love to do. They love to use men as little toys, little objects. They like to play games because, ge generally speaking, fellas, a lot of the time, not all, but a lot of the time, many women, they don't really have a, a true purpose in life. They're not purpose-driven, for the most part, like men are. Men, you know where we get our, our deepest most wonderful satisfaction from that comes from attacking our purpose and our goals and our mission in life but women on the other hand that doesn't really excite them as much but you know what does excite them playing with men having new men come into their life that they can toy with that they can create drama with because that need for male attention and male validation, it truly does, fellas. It really means that much to these women. And so they feel a deep level of satisfaction from dicking your ass around. And most guys will just let them. Most guys will just let them. But what are you gonna do? Are you gonna be like every other guy? that's blowing up her phone, that's in her inbox every single fucking day, every week, every month, asking her out, asking her to meet up, asking her if you can come over, and she continues to ignore you. She continues to give you the runaround, but you have no, no uh, self-respect. You just let her treat you any kind of way. She's always asking you for money. You're always giving it to her. You're being used. Fellas, you can't tell when you're being used. Some of you can, and you just don't care. And to me, that's even more of a slap in the face. And so, fellas, you're putting yourself at risk of all kind of uh, negative things going on in your life. So, guys, please start to value yourself more. Start to look at yourself 
as if you are truly the prize. Stop putting this little badge on such a pedestal that you're willing to do anything and everything for it. And I get if you're someone who doesn't get any very often and you're starving, I get that's that's gotta be a fucked up place to be in. But you still shouldn't be sacrificing any amount of self-worth to make this woman happy, to be a backup plan, to be a backup option to be somebody's sloppy seconds. If she doesn't see you as that dude, if she doesn't see you as the guy to sacrifice for, to cook for, to be feminine for, to submit to, if she doesn't see you as that guy, then hey, peace be with you. You do you, I'll do me. That needs to be the mentality. But in the end, fellas, only you can make the decision to treat yourself better and to value yourself more. I can sit here and tell you till, till I'm blue in the face. But not only are you going to feel better when you stop allowing yourself to be disrespected by these disrespectful ass women. Not only are you going to feel better, but they are going to respect you more because they see and they understand that you are willing to walk away and you are not putting up with the bullshit, that you are not to be played with, that you are not dealing with the games. Any games, any choosing another dude over you, it's over. Cut them off. No more texting. Stop asking her to hang out. Fuck what she's talking about. Put yourself up on that pedestal. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, check out your boy's Patreon for exclusive weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.